back to my channel and if you're new hey what's up my name is Tanya and thank you all so much for joining in and watching this video today is going to be a tutorial on how to achieve this eye look right here I primarily used my melt cosmetics but because I need to build my melt stacks I obviously had to dabble in a couple of my other palettes to get a few shades like a black and the lilac lavenderish tone that you see going on but I the main stars of the show and all that glitter and everything that you see is all melt and I am so happy with the way this look turned out this is not at all what I had envisioned when I sat down to film this tutorial but that's always how it goes and I always end up loving the end result these eyeshadows are just something else they are so good like I Oh, I cannot wait to like triple this stack. It is just heavenly. It is so good. I have never wanted January to come quicker. Like I'm just, hurry on up. I need to order more of these babies ASAP. So if you guys want to see how to achieve this eye look, then just stay tuned and keep on watching. So I just got my hair dyed and that's why this actually looks a little bit grayish, whitish, <laughs> and it always does for the first couple of days. Like when I get my hair dyed for three days, I don't wash it. I let everything sit, but my hair is so porous that it just sucks in the toner and then this grayish part disappears. So that's why it kind of looks like that, but that will fade away and be gone. And then I also woke up with a really bad migraine today, so everything's kind of a little bit puffy. And I wasn't able to do makeup before my hair appointment, but I'm feeling better now, so I thought I would film another tutorial with some Melt Cosmetics. I went on their site last night and they have some perfect stacks that have transition shades, dark chocolates, this amazing deep black. So in the new year, I am totally buying all of those nude shades. Now that I know how amazing these are, I just am out of money for the month. <sighs> well, <Mwah. laughs> but that's okay. That will be January 2nd, I guess, when the money hits the bank, whenever it does, I don't know. But as soon as my money clears in January, Melt Cosmetics is literally my first purchase because I want to get the transition shades, the chocolates, and that black. So I am going to now remember to zoom you guys in so we can get going. I am going to do a dark smoky eye because I don't usually do dark and smoky and I have, it's going to be glittery though, that's my twist. I do have these, they're so magnetic, <laughs> I didn't even mean to do that. Uh, I have these three shades from Melt that I want to try to work with. <laughs> So this one is the deep blue matte, and then I have these two different, <laughs> the way they grab each other, uh, these two different shimmer ones. So the bluish one is gunmetal, and then industrial is more of a silver base, but I have no idea where this look is going to take us as usual, but those are the three stars of the show from Melt but I am gonna be using my Natasha Denona palette and using some of these cooler toned shades to start my transition shades because, I, like I said, I didn't buy a bunch of Melt Cosmetics because I had no idea what to expect, but I will be getting more next month. So, let's get this look going. I actually got the Sigma Tapered Blending E40 brush for, for sale. As a freebie in one of my purchases, I got a whole little kit, so I'm going to put this little brush to the test 
And I'm going to dip into this taupey color and use that as my first transition shade. This might actually, oh no, it's good. It's gonna be, say a little bit too floppy and it is a little bit floppy. I think I like my Morphe better for this process. But I do wanna try these little brushes out, see how they are. No, can't handle it. I need my Morphe M441. It's just way too much of a ride or die for me when I'm trying to make something nice and smoky. This is, yeah, like look, that just gets the job done it's so much faster. I'm gonna take this blue, first time using it with the same brush. <gasps> And just sweep this on the eyelid. Oh, this is so pretty. These are so pigmented and not patchy at all. Oh, I so wish I would have purchased more shades when I had the money. Makeup addiction problems. <laughs> <laughs> but if you're watching this video, you guys get me. I just can't believe that even blue doesn't have fallout. I know the red was shocking, but the blue is just as shocking. It's just crazy. Okay, I'm going to take a Morphe E17, which is a little bit more of a dense brush, and take Industrial and swirl that around. And then I'm gonna spray a Fix Plus on it. I need to change hands, actually. <laughs> and then I'm gonna start this one on the inner corner. Wow. That is so pretty. I love it. Now I'm going to take gun metal and do the same thing and swirl my same, that same brush around in that and spray it with a fix plus. And now tap the middle. Woo! And then blend those two together. See, I want to make this end part with some black shadow. And unfortunately, I don't have a black melt yet. Now taking a little Makeup Geek that is made for the outer corner. I haven't used this yet though. I'm going to take just the plain black Anastasia eyeshadow since this one was a fail. Not that this would go with the look. I'm just reminding you guys that that one was a fail. So I'm going to take... Ooh, that looks pigmented. I haven't used that yet. Put this in the outer corner. And drag it outward too. Wow, the fallout that is happening from the Anastasia. And there was no fallout, even with the glitter, with the melt. I mean, I know this is black. I can't wait to get black in from um, 
melt and test that too but i mean if red and blue had no fallout and the glitter shimmer shades have no fallout i bet you their black won't have any fallout i'm going to be cleaning up all of this it was just to try to start creating a shape so the look is not going to be staying like this but taking a little Morphe E35. Since I had this in front of me, I just had an idea and it may be a total epic fail, but I'm gonna try taking this icy lilac color and ever so slightly putting like a little bit, where do I wanna put it? Like maybe just a little bit of a pop of color. I'm going very light-handed. And this will blend in nicely anyway. This brush is kind of hard. I think that'll be a really nice pop of color. I might just need a different brush. I may have missed this one when I was cleaning them and there may be like dried glitter adhesive on here. That was such a random thought, but I saw that color and thought that this might complement it really well, and I think it is. Awesome. During my Black Friday sale, which is what totally did me in for the rest of then December, I picked out this Lime Crime black liquid liner when I did all of those other Lime Crime Velveteen lips and Diamond Crushers, I believe they're called. And I haven't actually used this yet, so I'm going to try it out and start with aligning in the center the way I always do. And if it's terrible, I will switch it out. Oh, I jumped up and I hit my eyeshadow. I don't know how I feel about this liner. I think it might be a little chunky and it's so wet when you go to work with it that at first it gives a really nice shine, but it's kind of difficult to work with. And now it seems to be creasing. So I don't think I'm a big fan of using it for a wing, but I think it looks great for just doing your eyelash band. So I don't think I will use this in the future when I'm winging it out. I will just use it when I'm doing my lash line only because now it's emphasizing like every crease I have going on. 
which nobody wants to do. <sighs> so as usual, I went and popped on my falsies and played with some lip colors. And I know that this is really bold for a really bold eye, but I was just playing around because I actually got my hands on Marc Jacobs Sugar Sugar. And I don't like the way it looks on its own, so I wanted to try it as a topper. So I took one of Lime Crime's Velveteen in Posh which is like that really berry toned and then put this, see, it's a hat in. <laughs> put that over top and then put sugar, sugar, oh my God, over top. <laughs> but that's what happens when you put gloss over liquid lipsticks. It transfers to your freaking teeth. So I'm going to have to try this as a topper over just a lipstick and see how it goes because it is transferring like crazy from a liquid lip. And I tried out Cara, not Cara, Coco Lashes in number 108. These cute little ones, they're packaging. I really, like I said in some of the other videos, uh, I'm like in love with these Coco Lash, sorry, <laughs> Coco Lashes. I just, they're making life so much easier for a newbie like me at applying fall seeds. It's not even funny. So that is what is on my eyes. And to me, they're pretty natural looking too. They are definitely like, you know, you've got something on there. They're longer. They are they have some volume and a nice curl in there. But they're not like, bam, in your face lashes. So I really like them and you can't feel them, which all of the Coco lashes that I've tried, I haven't been able to feel that I'm wearing them. So I really do like that because I I hear people who wear lashes say that, you know, it either takes a little while to get used to the feeling once you pop them on, or you can feel them like all day that they've been on. And immediately you don't even feel that these lashes are on. They're, they are a very comfortable lash. And I keep checking my teeth because I feel like I'm gonna have berry all over it. But now it is time for me to go do my face and fake a tan and then all of these dark colors won't look as harsh because in like, bam, when I come back on camera, I'm going to be all tanned and evened out in skin tone. So I will see you guys soon. And just like that, we have a fake tan all over our face. I love bronzer. Oh my goodness. Matt, give me sun. Best bronzer ever. I always contour with uh, Benefit Hula. <laughs> now, Luffy and Romeo are being really yappy. <laughs> I think UPS may have just dropped off a small little Sephora package. Like a $25 little itty bitty one. <laughs> anyway, um, I highlighted using Anastasia's Glow Kit in Sweets. And I still stuck with Sassy Grape. That is the only shade that I have used so far in this palette. But I thought we did that little bit of that lilac y tone to like bring in to smoke on the upper lid. So I thought that kind of an icy purple might be a really nice highlight to complement and bring together some more purples. And so I then added that as my brow highlight. So there's almost like that gradient effect now of having that purple highlight into the actual purple shade and then into the gray tones. So I'm kind of like really digging this now and this look has completely derailed from what I had envisioned when I sat down to do this tutorial. But that seems to always be the case. Either way, I'm really happy with how it's turning out. And I also used my NARS Narcissist palette. Can you tell it's been used a lot? All the fingerprints, oh my goodness. I combined these two shades actually. I went in mostly heavy, -handed, heavy handedly with this plummy tone and then I just kind of went over it a little bit with like the nude tone, I guess. I don't know. I, it turned out really nicely when I mixed those two together. So that is what is on my face for blush and highlight and you already know my lips. And I guess I will zoom you guys in because that's all that I have 
left to update you on and we will finish up the lower lash line. I tight lined using, actually today I didn't tight line using Urban Decay, today I tight lined using that Lancome Drama Li Liquid Pencil in Extreme Longwear Eyeliner Noir Intense. So that is what I tight lined and water lined with. That was the last update. I kind of thought there was something, but I was looking at my cluster of makeup and couldn't figure it out, and that's what it was. So going in with the blue, I'm gonna take my Sephora Smudge Pro Smudge Brush number 11 and just smudge the blue all along the lash line. Let me get back and take the frame. That would probably be a good idea. I always do all of the majority of my editing and then I get Kurt to just look over everything in case he catches something that I've missed and then sometimes he likes to put in his two cents and every time I go out of frame he just looks at me and I'm like, I'm concentrating, it's not my fault. <laughs> Like, if you want to be in here the whole time I'm doing a tutorial so you can direct and watch the monitor, so if I go to frame you tell me, you go right ahead. He doesn't want to take me up on that. Now, big shocker, <laughs> I want to deviate from the plan. I was going to do all of this in a really smoky black, but now I want to try to smudge in gunmetal on the lower lash line and see how that is because at the end of the day, this is still a holiday season, and we have New Year's coming up, and I just, I want to have sparkle, so I'm going to do some sparkle. But you guys can totally do this step with like black and smoke it out. why it takes me two hours to film a video. I keep changing my mind on what I'm going to do over and over and over and over again. And two hours is on the light end. Now that I am like really heavy handedly packing in the glitter, gl gl glitter, I am noticing some fallout, <clears throat> but I think that one will be easily swept away with the brush, which we are about to find out. But applying it with a normal brush, there was zero fallout. It's just that now that I'm packing it on, there is some, which I kind of thought there would be. So this was another great way to test that out. I actually had grabbed my NYX Liquid Crystal Liner in Gunmetal and I was going to just put that over top of my wing, but now that I decided to smoke out all that glitter, I think I'm going to just go over the wing with a black one, which is their Dramatic Sparkle in Crystal Onyx. I've never used it, another new product, might as well try it out, but this uh, Lime Crime is just a terrible wing. It turned out awesome for the lash line, but it's terrible for winging it out. I just noticed my eyelash is starting to lift, so I'm going to fix that, and then we will do the wing. All right, I think I got that sucker to stay down. <laughs> so now this stupid lumpy liner from Lime Grime. Let's see if we can cover up all that with some glitter. Well, the glitter looks awesome, but I think the damage is done with the wrinkling. So, lesson learned on never using that for a wing again. 
Let's see how it's glitter. No, oh, that is not glitter. Oh, look at that. That just swoops away like nothing. Yeah, all gone. Okay, so at least you know that you can pack it on and it just wipes away. There's nothing left. I have no idea what I got for black on me down here though. See, I had this really fun purple that I was also wanting to play with, but that's too much. So I will leave it alone because I think that this would be really bright. I almost forgot that we need to add a little bit of that sassy grape highlight into the inner corner. I was looking at it like there's something missing from this look and that's what it is. All right, I'm just gonna add some mascara to my lower lash line and then I will go get dressed and be back for my final look. Thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope that you guys love this eye look as much as I do. I am loving it. I think this is one of my favorite eye looks yet. I love the way the purples, like that highlight and that lilac right down into the glitters, like just how it smoked out. I really love the way those shades just came together and they blended in like that gradient effect really flawlessly. And it's something that is so outside of my comfort zone. I mean, as usual, when I'm filming these tutorials for you guys and stepping outside of my comfort zone, but it is just so cool and I never would have created something like this. But as I was working with it, I just kept going with it and going with it and going with it. And I just really love the way it turned out. So I hope that you guys did too. And please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Please share this video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching it. I really appreciate it. I love you guys so much. And until the next video, good night, good morning, wherever you are. I love you guys. And I will talk to you later. Bye.